Hello, welcome back to the channel where I'm driving to Northamptonshire to take in a match in the uh, United Counties Premier Division South and it's a match between Long Buckby, relegation threatened and uh, high flying Wellingborough Town. It's another ground that I've never been to so I'm looking forward to it especially as it's quite a nice day. What I'm going to do is put on a caption of the league table how it looks prior to kick off. Well, this is not one of the most exciting journeys I've ever had to football. It's some kind of bloody caravan. Oh well, soon be there. Yeah, beauty. Well, I finally arrived after being in a kind of like hypnotic trance following the caravan. However, I'm a little bit nervous. But someone said to me, yep, we can get in this way. Yes, it remains to be seen. Uh, no. Aha. So I'm just going down a narrow walkway to the entrance to get into the uh, ground and Yes, this is the said rugby fields that I went to first. Hey mate, here you go. All there. I love you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Not reciprocated. So, I think there's 30 minutes, there might be one week left actually. That's not bad at all. First minute goal. Good save keeper. <laughs> Deflection, no chance for the keeper. That's the ball, that's the ball. Oh. Mm. Half time then, Long Buckby 2, Willingborough Town 1. Well, after the way the game started, 
I certainly didn't see that half-time score. But um, after conceding after the first minute, Dong Buckby got their heads up, um, grew into the game, deservedly grew level, and perhaps fortuitously lead at half-time with the deflected goal. There's no doubt Wellingborough have created the better chances, um, but it's, as you know, it's something for um, the home team to hang on to. They've actually not won a league game at home all, all season, so can this be the first? But I guess the next 45 minutes will determine that, so uh, we'll see what happens. So for the second half, I was going to make my way between the benches because it sounds a bit lively. Um, however, I've been foiled. Back that way then, I guess. No. Good. Easy. Good advantage, Good ref. Oh, left foot, left foot. Shoot. Oh. Halfway through the second half now, and it's still 2 1 to the home side, but the away side, ouch. The away side is starting to threaten more and more now. Oh, great save. Looked like a certain equaliser. Here we go again. There's been a lot of this in the last 10 15 minutes. Lots and lots of verbals flying around. And another flashpoint. That's for the keeper for booting the ball away. Just not happened for Wellingborough this second half. And uh, Longbuck, they definitely deserve winners. And that's the full time whistle. Long Buckby's first home win of the season. So when I turned up to the match today, I fully expected a three or four nil win for the away side. And within a minute, I thought I was going to be proved right. But uh, since then, um, Wellingborough could be playing till tonight and they wouldn't have scored. Uh, Long Buckby must be really short of confidence, but they did really, really well to turn it around. Um, the club officials actually told me they were already, already relegated. Um, I didn't know there was a couple of relegation spots. So, yeah, like I said, with confidence low, they did really, really well. And it's something to take forward into next season. I've enjoyed my visit here. It's a nice little setup, actually. Um, and it always helps with a nice day and a few goals and um, a bit fiery out there as well, wasn't it? 
but um, yeah if you're in the area I recommend it um, but obviously I recommend any type of non-league football anyway that's it for this um, YouTube video um, thanks for watching please like subscribe and share and we'll get the next one out as soon as I possibly can so until then um, bye